What's up Kingdom? Today I will show you awesome build for Mystic Spear Hand. That's awesome vocation in Dragon's Dogma 2. And it's kinda secret, you need to unlock it. You can't unlock it normally in this vocation guild and first down. So, how to get this vacation actually? You can get it after you start your game, then you anyway will get to the mouth. And then after you got to the mouth town, you will eventually finish in Varen Ward. So, in this town there is a lot of shops and vacation guild. And basically you will do some quests over here. But then in a few days uh, you need to go back. You need to go back to mouth. And then in the mouth there will be a big fight and after big fight you will find a guy who got this hood on his uh, head and this spear so you just need to talk with him ask uh, him about his uh, style and then you can unlock mystic spear hand and that's my build so first of all what mystic spear hand get in his core skills and because the skills doesn't uh, take any slots you will learn them anyway on your road when you're leveling Mystic Spear Hand. So first of all you will get ability to shoot forbidden bolts. This bolt uh, can just you know stop the enemy and you just <laughs> can unleash your power and destroy them really easily when they prevent it from movement. Also as Mystic Spear Hand you get ability to instantly approach a target that was struck by these bolts. When you learn this stuff, make sure to learn it as fast as possible. It's super fun and cool and make him very mobile. So you just press jump after your bolt connecting with your foe and you instantly will be teleported to this foe. You need to do it quickly. Also then you will level Fearing Bolt, which will increase range of this uh, like magic spell and Winding Cut. Basically, that's a really funny attack. You just uh, starting to make whirlwind from your spear, and it's look cool. You just mash button, and you will destroy and do a lot of damage with it. Mystic Spear Hand got a lot of skills, but how and which skills you pick that makes your build. Not only this, but let me show you my build, what I'm using and recommending you to try. So, first skill is Dragon's Foin. That's advanced form of dragon's tape. So, what does it mean? Basically, when you just start your adventures, Mystic Spear Hand, you will get only dragon's stable spell. That's it, basically skill. And then, when you level up your vacation a little bit, you will unlock this version of the skill. It will cost a lot more, just like one two k gold. So, a lot more gold. And this will be more powerful version. So, just make sure you get in this type of spell early game and then level up. Basically you're kicking off magical platform to gain momentum before delivering a forceful jab. But in the like basic words you're just reducing distance with you and your enemy because you're a melee fighter you need to go into melee range and you just uh, jump in leashing forwards and just destroying enemies like that. Very nice uh, skill for mobility to travel a little bit and you can do it in the air or on the ground. So it's pretty versatile, also very useful if you like dropping from high distance and there's enemy nearby, you can drop and use it and don't take fall damage. And that's our attacking skill with spear. So spear hand, mystic spear hand is kinda hybrid class with damage of, with strength based modifier and also with magic modifier. And our next damaging skill is uh, Ski Dragon's Fist and it's advanced form of Ski Dragon's Funk 2s. Uh, basically you press a button and you can do it in the ground or in the air and you kind of do counter attack when someone attacks you and doing pretty nice damage to enemy but this damage also will be magic as well so you're doing hybrid damage very nice and very useful if enemies get protection from physical damage but no magical protection so damage output is really nice still this build will be mostly focusing on melee damage output and not about a lot of magical stuff so it's mobility and cool looking damage guy but if you want more mystic spearhead don't forget uh, to subscribe because there will soon will be a lot more different builds on my channel and you will enjoy playing them too so 
because our Mystic Spear Hand got no defense, almost no defense. I think Mirror Shield is a really nice spell to have with this build, because uh, while we have a really nice mobility, it's very nice to have some sort of protection just in case you're really outnumbered or there's a lot of tough enemies. Basically, that's advanced form of Mirror Vesture, and you get in this barrier around yourself, and this barrier will block few attacks. But it's not lasting until it takes attack, it's lasting for set limit of time, so you need to use it in case you understand that you will take damage anyway. Still very useful skill in many situations. And last but not least, Seaching Storm, which is an advanced form of Seaching Blade, and this our magic, magic skill. So some enemies, again, as I told you, get nice protection from physical damage, and that's where Seaching Storm comes. First of all, it will be called Seaching Blade. Uh, you get the skill almost instantly when you get this Mystic Spearhead. And basically, you're creating little, little blade, little dot, blue dot. And you can launch it and it will do some damage. So that's basically it. Nothing special. You just keep these dots and they doing damage. And Seaching Storm upgraded. Seaching Storm will do more damage, more blades will come. And now, when we get our skills, Let's talk about Augments. So what is Augments? Basically, when you're leveling your vacation, you will get access to Augments, and while you're leveling, you will get more of them. Mystic Spearhead got Conveyance, which gives you more movement speed while you're carrying or lifting. So there's just a uh, utility Augment, I would say. Not really useful, but while you're leveling, and if you don't have a lot of cool Augments, from other classes, because you can get Mystic Spear Hand really early in the game, maybe you will use it. Just to throw some enemies off cliffs, for example, or some stuff like this. Opulence, increasing gold obtained when occurring coin purchase. So that's a really nice one, especially when you're just leveling up to get more gold. So pretty nice stuff, just to increase your leveling and speed up your gaming process to obtain new items and other stuff. Then we get Polarity, very cool augment, so this augment augments your strength during the day and your magic at night, and I would say that at night there's a lot more enemies who are is protected from physical damage and need to be killed with magic damage or some augmented attacks, that's why it's really powerful stuff. You actually need more magic at night and more strength at day. Then we got Refulgence, it increasing amount of Rift Crystals obtained. So again, speeding up your progress, getting more Rift Crystals is like not a bad idea, they are pretty limited. And also Athletism, reducing stamina consumed while dashing. Again, pretty nice for exploration, you can just slam it and travel a lot more without consuming teleports, stones and other stuff. But to make our build we need augments from different vocations. And we're starting with Polarity, that's our Mystic Spear Hand, of course. So, as I showed you, Strength during the day and Magic at night. Then we get Lethality, that's Archer Vacation Augment. You will have increased damage when striking a target's vitals. So, this means if you're targeting, for example, Eye of Cyclop, you will do a lot more damage with your strikes. And as Mystic Spear Hand, you can easily climb on these targets and do a lot of damage. Basically, Mystic Spear Hand is designed to kill dragons, so that's really nice stuff to have to deal with big guys. Then we get Verve, that's Thief Augment. This Augment will increase your strength, your basic physical damage. So simple and straightforward stuff. And also we get Sorcerer Augment, Sagacity, so Augment that will increase your magic. We basically increasing our physical and magical damage. We are just a glass cannon as Mystic Spear Hand, but damage is really insane. And then to do damage, you actually need to spend your stamina. That's where comes Endurance from Archer, increasing your maximum stamina, and also Exhalation from Mage. This augments your stamina recovery speed. So, as for gear, you're looking for spears that have more strength than magic. I don't know all spears in the game, but there is definitely some with uh, really high magic stat. You're looking for higher strength, so in case you will find another spear, and another spear will have high 
magic instead of strength or strength will be lower just focus on previous spear always make sure to have spear with high strength as for other parts of the gear again it doesn't matter just pick whatever you like whatever looks cool on your character or whatever have more stats so that's your choice i always uh, sticking with something that looks cool but you can just go for something with nice and cool stats and now i guess it's time to see this boy <laughs> or in my case girl in action so how we play the mystic spirit hand let's go so our basic skill is again a really simple dragon's foin you just travel dashing for a really nice distance Ski Dragon Fest can be used just normally, you don't even need to take attack to do it. And also don't forget you can do it like this from the high ground to do really cool damage. And Mirror Shield just cast it in case you need protection and also it protects your allies, don't forget about it. And in Stitching Storm you just create in this blobs and you can make a lot of them, just don't forget to mash a button a little bit. Because if you just press button once, it will create only one spear, as it's called. But if you mash it, you can do four spears, and they will seek targets. So here's some lizard versus pig, let's just stop him. And with augment combination, we get really nice speed. And you can just spam from the distance this awesome skill. But as you can see, on the big guys, you're not able to stop them, actually. So to actually disable enemies like this, you need to hold down this button. And when you hold down, your arm will be in this lightning. You then basically uncheck this button and you will make enemies to this like paralyzed state. And if we press jump right after we unleash the button, look, we're doing this teleport, but we need to to be in a range so basically something like this we need to like time it correctly like this make sure to practice on picks because <laughs> it takes time to get used to if you press it too early you won't teleport but just at the right time you always teleport yeah and never forget you can spam X button to start this twin cut mashing. That's insanely fun in the battles. And funniest part, it's never using any stamina, so you can use it as stamina recovery tool. Basically, as you can see, I can do it forever. That's why Mystic Spear Hand is basically broken in my opinion. You're doing uh, like your skills to drain your stamina we get a lot more stamina with my build and then we just replenish all of this while doing normal attacks so just hold down button come in try to teleport and then just unleash your powers we can do this session storm to inflict magic damage just and destroy enemies with this dashing so that's insanely fun class to play. You just go in and destroy everyone. And damage is like really good. Really good, even this basic gear. Yeah, that's it. Insanely, insanely fun class to play. After defeating one enemy, you just jump into the next one. And also you can combo your skills. And make sure to protect your allies who are giving you a nice amount of damage with this stuff. Like this. And cool part, you can do it even on high ground targets or so just drop them down because Harpers is really annoying, guys. They always fly away, so you just hold this button, go to the Harpers nest. And then just unload it, they will be paralyzed, they will drop down. And you just destroy them, like this, on the ground. Or just use Stitching Storm against high ground targets, again, pretty easy <laughs> auto-aiming ability. So, like, no-brainer, pretty, pretty cool. So, I hope you enjoyed this awesome Mystic Spirit Hand guide and build and you will have blast playing it in Dragon's Dogma 2. Make sure to subscribe to not miss other cool builds and don't forget to check leveling guide to understand how to level up your vacations fast. So, see you in the next videos.